actually didn't discover I was non-binary until I was 20 years old. It definitely takes time. I think especially those of us who are older Gen Z and above, we just didn't have the access to knowledge that we do now about gender. Give yourself some grace. If you don't know something exists, how can you know that's what you are? Gender and sexuality is not limited to like a certain age group. What's so amazing about social media, especially TikTok, is that I see so many people who are 60 plus who are just now discovering their gender or their sexuality. I think it's important to start normalizing the fact that you can discover yourself at any age. You're not going to know if you like something unless you try it. So try different pronouns. Try a different name if you want, different ways of presenting to kind of see, hey, what makes me feel the best? There's no criteria for being trans. There's no criteria for being non-binary. You can look how you are now and use the same pronouns you do now and still be non-binary. Don't feel discouraged because you didn't figure it out when you were five years old. Wow, the land of make-believe. Now, I think that young lady we just heard from in the first clip made a pretty good argument as to how social media and talk specifically has destroyed the minds of young people in this country. I mean, she literally got a double mastectomy for no other reason than she's non-binary. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So I have a fairly quick and very crazy clown world update for you guys today. And as usual, we have, well, very little time to waste. So let's get into it. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment. So we've seen a lot of extreme body modifications or body mods, as the cool kids say here on the channel lately, as far as tattoos and piercings and such. So when I first saw this picture, I wasn't quite for sure if it was real or not. Now, I took a little deeper and realized it was just a prosthetic face mask, but isn't it crazy that we live in a time where you see a picture of someone who looks just like Fifel Mouskowitz and you don't know if it's real or fake? You look ridiculous. All right, let's keep it moving with this fella who is about to prove just how severely misinformed these Democrats and liberals are. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard about how at the DNC there is a Planned Parenthood booth set up outside where they're giving on-site abortions and vasectomies and giving out the Plan B pill. This fella doesn't think any of that's happening. Someone commented on his TikTok, the Democrats have people dressed up as the pills used to end babies and have free on-site abortions. It's one thing to want that. It's another to celebrate it like you all are. It's sickening. Roll it. This is the problem. This woman believes that at the Democratic National Convention, there are people in the crowd on purpose by Democrats who are dressed up as mifepristone pills and Plan B pills. And that at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, uh, sponsored by the Democratic Party, abortions are being performed on site. And this woman believes that Democrats celebrate when a woman or a girl has an abortion. Meanwhile... This is the problem. This woman believes that at the Democratic National Convention, there are people in the crowd on purpose by Democrats who are dressed up as mifepristone pills and Plan B pills. Are you stupid or something? Now, everything that fellow we just heard from said wasn't happening at the DNC literally happened at the DNC. So I don't know if he's lying or just severely misinformed, but either way, he's wrong. Anyway, next up. So here we have another fellow who I'm pretty sure participated in the white dudes for Carmelo Harris Zoom call. Roll it. I'm going to vote for Kamala Harris no matter what anyone says. And here's why. When I was a kid, in the fifth grade, I met my childhood best friend, who happened to be gay. And I'm a straight man. I've been straight my entire life. <coughs> but 
I wanted to be Jesse's friend, my best friend, um, because he was fun. He was funny and fun and happy. It turns out that's what the word gay actually means. And uh, grew up, still good friends with the guy. He lives in New York now. He's like a mover and a shaker. But uh, I also am voting for Kamala Harris because of my sister, who is uh, gay and has a wife. I'm not going to turn on my childhood best friend. I'm not going to turn on my sister. I'm not going to turn on my mother in heaven. I'm not going to turn on my daughters to come because of some abstract argument about what's going to happen in the next four years. Some abstract argument. I don't care what your argument is. Don't care. I'm voting for my ladies. You're smart and I love you for it. Harris for president 2024. In your circle, I'm sure you got all kinds of uh, gays and uh, trans whatevers of all stripes, but not where I come from. All right, next up, we have this clip of some audience members that were at the DNC. Now, this individual in the purple dress is a biological man that identifies as a trans woman and calls himself a doctor. Roll it. My name is Dr. Joey Perella, pronouns she, her, hers. I'm a proud resident of the Garden State. I'm proud to stand with Kamala Harris and Tim Walls because they stand with the LGBTQ community. What the hell did you just say? My name is Dr. Joey Perella, pronouns she, her, hers. You're not a doctor. You're a big, fat, curly-headed fuck. So this whole diversity, equity, and inclusion, or... EEI agenda has had some real negative effects on this country in recent years, in my opinion, anyway. For example, get Carmelo Harris and Supreme Court Justice Kentanji Brown Jackson. They were both literally appointed to their positions for two reasons. They were black women. Forget about qualifications. Anyway, here is a leaked Zoom meeting with the chief diversity officer of Delta Airlines. Roll it. More subtle forms of communications. I would call them the little C communications. They might even be verbal communications. So we're beginning to take a hard look at things like our gatehouse announcements. You know, we welcome ladies and gentlemen, and we've asked ourselves, is that as gender inclusive as we want to be? You know, we're looking at some legacy language that exists in some of our employee manuals and getting to the root of the way some things are described and saying, does that actually send a message of inclusivity? <laughs> That is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Jesus Christ. I don't know about you guys, but hearing something like that, does that make me feel real safe when it comes to flying the friendly skies? Anyway, next up. So here we have an individual wearing clown makeup singing a song called I Am Gay. Don't these people realize that the clown makeup definitely doesn't help their cause? Roll it. I am gay. Are you gay? And if not, would you like to try to be gay? We're taking new applications and it's really fun. You get magical powers and free honey buns. Your mom is gay <laughs> and so is your dad. If you're not gay, it's really too bad. Why are you gay? So this next clip kind of goes back to earlier in the video when we saw that Fightful Mousekowitz looking young lady with the tattoos and piercings and such. So apparently this fellow wasn't satisfied with two nostrils. Somebody commented, what is bro's nose rolling? This might sound crazy, but it's a hole into your nose. You might have a couple of these yourself. What the f*** is wrong with you? Real quick. Real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to let this loop on the screen. Now, I'm hoping this is a filter, but who knows anymore? Anyway, today's video is being brought to us by the Etsy store, Red Clover Fields. Now, many of you know that is my wife's Etsy store, and she's got some fantastic stuff on her website. Stuff I use every day, and I swear by it. So, if you're looking to take control of your health and maybe get away from some of these big pharma products, definitely go peruse her store. I will put a link to that in the description box below. 
And also, today's honorable mentions go to Felicia B. and Pastor Bob Rogers for each leaving a super thanks on the last video. So, Pastor Bob and Felicia, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. So once again, today's video sponsor is the Etsy store Red Clover Fields with honorable mentions going to Felicia B. and Pastor Bob Rogers. Now, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. All right, get this off the screen. I've had enough of this. Oof. <laughs> what the hey. f was that? All right, next up we have this individual who is a biological man that identifies as a trans woman who calls himself a transbian or trans lesbian. But that's not relevant to this clip. Anyway, there's a lot going on here and it's kind of hard to keep up. And my one suggestion to this fellow would be go easy on the Adderall. Roll it. I should be on Fox News because I am a radical transgender who believes in the abolishment of all things that Americans hold dear to their hearts, like the nuclear family. I didn't grow up in a nuclear family, as you can tell by the fact that I look like this, but I find it to be an incredibly constricting force in American society, and it prevents us from embracing each other's differences and embracing our own diversity because we all have to boil down to the same system of growing up. And it also leads to the perpetuation of a lot of stereotypes, women staying at home, men going out there and working and hiding their feelings deep inside so their family can't see what's happening. I believe in the abolishment of the nuclear your family is the only way to raise a family in America. I also believe that uh, our economic system is created in a way to prop up uh, about 12 people in America and ruin the lives of every other person who isn't a part of those 12 people in America. 12 is an exaggeration. There is about 3,000 billionaires in the United States. There's a lot more 100 millionaires and a lot more people who are doing very well under the system. And there are a lot of people who get kicked out in the system and they are forced to direct their anger instead of at the economic elite and at those in political power, the Republican Party tries to direct their anger towards immigrants and uh, undocumented people in the United States and trans people and a bunch of racist attitudes. And that is not the solution to our problem. The solution to our problem isn't trying to stop trans people and people of color and immigrants from being in the United States. The solution is to take the money from those in power and take the power from those in power. So yeah, I hope I'm on Fox News someday because I don't know, I believe that this is a failed country. No offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up with this clip from the freepress.com of this young lady going around the DNC and asking people what their favorite policy positions are from Carmelo Harris. And this is just going to prove that these people don't know, they don't care. It is simply a cult of identity politics. Anyway, things are clearly getting very crazy out there, guys. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll it. What's your favorite policy of Kamala's? Hmm. Oh, that's a hard one. What's your favorite policy of Kamala's? Her being president. That's your favorite policy position? Oh, yeah. How so? Because it covers everything that she defends. I'm really excited for her um, to restore reproductive rights across America. How do you think she'll go about doing that? Fun question. I don't know. I'm picking and choosing. I mean, I really like most of them. So you have to look at it broadly, right? We, it, it's 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 about what she stands for right now. What's your favorite of Kamala's policies? I'm trying to think. Well, actually, more of like well, you know what Walsh comes in. All of her policies, everything from I'm I'm, I'm non-binary, and and so all of the policies for basic human rights, rights to have our own bodies and do with them as we please, you know. Her willingness to move forward on uh, affordable health care. How do you think she'll do that as president? I think she'll work to motivate the legislature 
uh, to vote in favor of it. As like her as a person, just like tops out any policy. What did you say? What the f did you just say? As like her as a person, just like tops out any policy. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. And you ain't black.